Adjusting complete dentures. Step 1. Denture bases. Dentures processed by a laboratory should be returned in a sealed pouch. Prior to the patient appointment, identify and eliminate any spicules, sharp areas, or imperfections on the denture surface by dragging gauze over the denture. Smooth and polish any rough or sharply angled contours. Doing this prior to the appointment saves valuable chair time. The next steps to delivering a denture involve the principle of only adjusting a denture where an indicating medium provides exact location where adjustment is required. Such indicating media may include pressure indicating paste, indelible sticks, articulating papers, or disclosing waxes or elastomeric materials. The first step in adjusting a denture should always be to adjust the fit of the denture base with pressure indicating paste. Never adjust the occlusion prior to this step, as correct seating of the prostheses can affect occlusal contacts. Dry the denture thoroughly and apply disclosing paste with a stiff brush to leave streaks so that the surface color is mostly that of the paste and not that of the underlying denture, like you see here on the left hand side. First, apply paste to the base without including the peripheral edge. It will be easier to insert and remove this way. Prior to insertion, dampen the tissues and the paste covered denture to reduce potential for the paste to stick to the mucosa. Rotate the denture into place so to avoid smearing paste on the lips or cheeks. Place heavy pressure on the first molars. The patient's head should sink into the headrest unless there is pain. Always use fingers and not occlusion to apply pressure so as to prevent tipping of the denture at this stage. Remove by breaking the seal in the buccal vestibule. Paste is applied and the denture inserted similarly in the mandible. Pressure is applied over the first molars, with the dentist supporting the inferior border of the mandible. Remove by breaking the seal in the buccal vestibule. Adjust areas of burn through by relieving the denture where there is no remaining paste. These are areas of excessive pressure. Here we will relieve the right tuberosity and anterior ridge where the absence of paste indicates heavy contact that is preventing the palate from fully seating. Areas with paste that have streaks remaining are areas where there is no contact with the denture. Adjust and reapply paste repeatedly until there is even distribution of paste with no streaks in the majority of the denture base. It is always wise to use the largest burr available to reduce chatter marks when you're making adjustments, but in some areas you may need to use a narrow burr. Once the denture bases have been adjusted, check the denture peripheries. Apply paste up and over the edge, lapping onto the buccal surface by 5 to 10 millimeters. It is easiest to check one side at a time so the paste doesn't wipe off on the cheeks or lips during insertion. Holding the denture in place with one hand, border mold the opposite side and have the patient make functional movements while you stabilize the denture. Remove by breaking the seal in the buccal vestibule. Look for areas of burn through where overextensions and functional movements have displaced the paste from the border. Adjust only those areas where there is no paste. Be cautious as adjustments on the peripheries affect the border seal and the retention of the denture. The labial frenum is often narrow and you will have to use a thin burr for making those adjustments. Coat the entire posterior buccal surface of the denture with paste and have the patient make side to side movements to check to ensure that there are no impingements from the coronoid process during function. If there is an impingement from the coronoid, it will look something like this, although sometimes it can wrap over the edge. Have the patient open wide to activate the pterygomandibular raphe to check that it is not impinged upon. This could cause an ulcer or displacement of the denture. Sometimes ulcers in this area are caused by sharp or overextended external surfaces of the denture. So make sure to extend paste past any structures you are checking to ensure you adjust the correct area. In the mandible, placement of the paste and insertion in the mouth is similar. Perform border molding movements while stabilize the denture. Move the cheek and the lips and have the patient close against pressure. For the lingual peripheries, have the patient lick their lip from side to side. This activates both the tongue and the floor of the mouth. Ensure especially that there are no impingements on the lingual frenum as this can cause severe pain and ulceration. Adjust till you see no burn through in the paste. Denture base adjustments are completed when pressure indicating media indicates relatively uniform contact, when you can put firm pressure over the first molars without discomfort, and when the denture does not displace 
during functional movements or border molding procedures. Once you have completed all adjustments on the denture, finish and polish the areas you have modified. This is the first in a number of videos on denture adjustments. Look for the others on my website or my YouTube channel.